Is it possible to create high quality YouTube videos just like this with little to no editing? The answer is yes. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how. Let's do it. Hey, this is Leslie Samuel here from becomeablogger.com where we're changing the world one blog at a time. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I show you how to grow your influence online so that you can have an impact on the world. I do this by creating content each and every weekday to help you grow your blogging business. So if you are suffering from that disease called unsubscriptionitis, don't worry, this is what you do. Hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications so that you can be notified whenever I create more awesome content. So we are talking all about creating videos with little to no editing is it possible yes it is now i want to tell you a backstory when i started my podcast learning with leslie where i uh, talk about blogging and how to build an online business with, with a blog i was a high school science and math teacher at a boarding academy and because of that i was extremely busy but i really wanted to do this podcast so i knew that if i wanted to do a podcast like this and and publish on a weekly basis I had to make it as frictionless as possible. And the way I decided to do that was by cutting up the editing process. I didn't want to spend 30 minutes or an hour or two hours or three hours cutting out the, the ums and the as and putting in music and all that kind of stuff. I wanted it to happen. I wanted it to happen on the fly. So what I did was I started to invest in equipment. I invested in a mixer. I invested in a nice microphone. I had a setup where I have my iPad that can bring in the intro music and the outro music so that it happens on the fly. And when I'm done recording the podcast episode, it takes me about a minute or two to do all of the post-processing and I'm done. Now, I've been creating this, this, these YouTube videos on a, a almost daily basis and what I've, I've been asking myself is, is it possible to do the same thing with video? And the answer is, as I've said twice already, <laughs> absolutely yes. When I'm switching from, uh, you know, I'm zooming in on the camera and I'm zooming, zooming back out or I'm switching to a different camera, I want to make sure that this happens the way that I want it to happen without having to do it in post-production. If I want to bring in my name and my, my um, logo, I want it to happen on the fly. And that's exactly what I'm doing today. So I want to show you how I am doing this. The first thing is I'm using a program that is called vMix. This is the program. And yes, it probably looks a bit complicated. And it's, it looks a bit complicated, but it's actually very easy once you figured it out. This is the basis for how I'm able to do this. This program allows me to switch between scenes and add in different elements. And it makes it as smooth as possible. But there's one other thing that makes it very, very smooth, and that is this device right here. This is my switcher. This is the X-Keys USB programmable keyboard. And if you look over here, actually, this is it on Amazon. Now, what this allows me to do is I can set all of these buttons with different things like my Panasonic GH5, Webcam 1, and Webcam 2. Webcam 2, for example, is what I'm using uh, so that you can see this right now, but if I want to switch back to my camera I just hit the GH5 and I can switch between those scenes very easily if I want to bring in a title I can bring in my title if I want to tell you to go check out my coaching club I can tell you to visit bloggercoaching.com for more info by just tapping this on the screen I can show you my Mac and I can show you let me move this off the screen right now but I can show you my Mac and I could show you me in this little um, section right over here and I could do all these fancy things on the fly and it makes it so much easier. So the two components are, number one, I'm using vMix on my PC. Unfortunately for you Mac people, um, and I'm a Mac person as well, but this is PC only. That really is very powerful and I use it for live streaming, but it allows me to do this kind of recording as well. And once again, the X Keys USB programmable keyboard. So this actually, what you're watching right now is my experiment with this process and hopefully it goes over well. Hopefully it comes in very smoothly. Even when I hit the uh, this button over here, that's going to, to, to do the outro at the end of this video. And I would love to get your feedback. What do you think about this format? It's 
literally taking me hardly any time in the post-production process, in the editing process, and I hope that this is gonna be a great way for me to create high-quality YouTube videos in the future. So I wanna know from you, what do you think about this process? Is it working for you? Did you wish that I did some editing and not just simple things like this and this and this and this and this and this? I'm sorry, I got a little carried away there. <laughs> but yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure to like this video. And of course, share it with your friends. You see how I did that? You see, oh wait, this direction. You see how I did that? I like it. <laughs> share it with your friends. And of course, make sure you are subscribed. Don't continue suffering from that unsubscriptionitis thing. I hear it's a pretty bad disease. Um, so hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications so that you can be notified whenever I create more awesome content. And if you want to take your blogging to the next level, you want to be coached by me, head on over to bloggercoaching.com to find out about my Become a Blogger coaching club. So that's pretty much it for this video. This is Leslie Samuel here from becomeablogger.com. We're changing the world one blog at a time and until next time take care and god bless